You guys ready? Let's go. This is a match to behold. This will be the highlight match for YouTube, baby. All right, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, we've got here, we're just going to skip the whole tournament and go straight to the final match. We've got Peels, one of our most skilled players, especially in the Sparkle Cup. And we have Master Prof, otherwise known as Libs. They are battling for second and third place, respectively. Our winner is once again Revamast, who is just an amazing player. But here we go, Ataloids with the Giga Drain. Hitting Constructo big time before he replies to the Rock Slide. And now Peels sends out a Constructo, but that just let him use Stealth Rock. So Master Prof getting a good go of it here. Because he doesn't seem to have a fruit to the O. Oh dear, and he goes for an explosion, which is not very effective, but maybe he doesn't have Earthquake. Maybe he was anticipating a switch, who knows? We got a Triple Hydra coming in for Master Prof now, who threatens a lot of damage on the Constructor with a Waterfall if he has it. They swap into a beautiful shiny Blazora. I want to say he catches the Earthquake, but takes an awful lot of damage in the process. Goes for a rest. Oh my goodness, that is spicy. So Blazora gets all of its health back with a Vilvi Fruity in the back. I would actually use an Osef Fruity because if, you know, you get toxic or something as you're using rest, you're going to wind up going to sleep instead. Rapid Spin, bro uh, rapid spin blows away the Stealth Rocks. Takes another Earthquake. Blazora definitely going to go first. Goes for another rest. So that means Triple Edge is going to get a solid couple of turns and just keep whacking away with that rock slide. But maybe if he uses rest enough, then Master Prof will get to run his rock slides out. He swaps into Adloys, takes an earthquake. We got a sub into Moon Test, but Adloys puts out a substitute, so he's not going to get hypnosis anytime soon. Very nice move by Peels. What's gonna happen next? We got a sticky web coming up from Moontis. Ataloids responds with a Leech Seed. So now we've got Leech Seed and Substitute going on. Ataloids gonna be able to get up enough health. To... Oh, Intimidate comes out from Roma Fridge. Double, oh, it was a double Roman Fridge swap. I was reading the chat. Double Roman Fridge swap, intimidating each other. Question is who's faster, and also Master Prop at a slight disadvantage. The shiny Blazora having wiped out the Stealth Frost, but it doesn't matter. The Roman Fridge tanks. Oh wait, <laughs> he, he died from the recoil. I'm sorry about that. I thought Peels' Roman Fridge went down, so the recoil from the Brave Bird took him out. And now we have Triple Hydra coming in, gonna very, very comfortably tank a Brave Bird. So. Definitely a swap out coming out here from Peels with the spicy rest from Blizzora, who's still asleep. Blizzora gonna tank a few rock tombs. Hopefully wake up. Takes another earthquake, and Blizzora is one hit from down. So all Triple Edge has to do is not miss. And there goes an earthquake, which can't miss. So down goes Blizzora. He's so pretty and pink. Avaloy's coming back out realizing Peels has got a bit of a pink theme team going on. The question is, can the Triple Hydra take the Ataloys out before it gets off a Giga Drain? Zordok's coming out, takes a Leech Seed. 
Restoring Adeloise's health, but Adeloise is going to want to swap out of here. Swaps into Constructo. Tanks the Air Slash. And Sornox just getting whittled down. Oop. Wow, it's been going on longer than five minutes. What a match. Get me in there. A yawn coming out from Triple Hydra. Wow, he's really playing with fire there. Given that Asteroids could literally one shot a Triple Hydra. Moontis coming out. Takes a, takes a Leaf Seed. Asteroids falls asleep. Moontis able to set stuff up here. Like Caprito coming, swapping in against Roman Fridge. That's not what you want. So Caprito in trouble here. He's going to want to swap out. Thank you so much for the follow, Bloppy Gamer. Welcome to the Revmon community. Are you an investor or a player? And boom! Constructo takes the Moontis out with it. the chat. The text is a little bit uh, bugged there. Hydrate. Uh, yeah, I do have some water, but I want to watch the match. <laughs> We got an avalanche coming back out from Triple Hydra. It doesn't do much to Atalois. What is going on with the text? We've got a little bit of a double bug going on here. Florian, can you take a look at that? Avalanche comes out again, takes out the Atalois, but he was asleep anyway, so he was basically dead weight. And we got Arjarun coming out. Definitely a trouble for that Triple Hydra. Arjarun's speed is dropped. So Triple Edge are definitely going to go first, so we can make a final move, which is the Yawn and Poison Jab coming out from the Arjarun. Because he was trying to predict a swap didn't go in his favor. Now the Arjarun is sleepy. If he takes out the Triple Hydra, he's going to fall asleep. And it will give Libs time to set up. Who's winning? Um, well, Peels is winning on Revamon. Possibly, uh, maybe, maybe not on position. We'll have to see how the next few turns play out. Revamast won the tournament. These guys are fighting for second and third place. Earthquake coming out. Not going to do it. Drain Punch takes out the Triple Hydra. And there it goes. Ajarun falling asleep. So Capritol coming out. Trying to take advantage of this window. Going for the Quiver Dance. Is it enough to take out a Constructor? I don't. All his moves are resisted. Constructor knows rock moves. This might be trouble for the Capito, but he does know hidden power grass, I believe. I mean, forest, sorry. It's not Pokemon. He did! He used the hidden power! Hidden power takes out the Constructo! Oh, baby. Now Roman Fridge coming out. Roman Fridge is not faster anymore because of the Quiver Dance. So Fiery Dance takes out the Roman Fridge. Is this Caprito going to sweep? And we still haven't seen the Shiny Polyburn. Raiderin coming out. Raiderin's not going to do it. Another Fiery Dance. Oh, but he lives. A critical Thunderbolt takes out the Caprito. Oh my goodness. And it's Sornox in the back. The Raiderin's going to take this. Oh, and he doesn't even get the Air Slash. No, he doesn't even get the flinch. That's so unfortunate. Peels takes second place. Congratulations.